This video describes the setup and use of the atrium at your institution. This video is not intended to be a replacement for the instructions for use, and as always, if you have any further questions, you can reach us at atrility.com. The atrium is the only device of its kind on the market, providing continuous and real-time access to an atrioelectrogram on the patient's bedside monitor. The diagnostic information from atrioelectrograms is useful in both the surgical suite and post-operative settings, and to support this use, the atrium is provided as a sterile, single-use device. Displaying atrioelectrograms on the patient's bedside monitor connects atrioelectrograms into the hospital's telehealth system, which is more convenient to interpret signals remotely. This also allows telemetry review of the patient's atrial signal history, as well as supporting new streams of data for novel signal research. Connect an atrial epicardial wire to the negative port on the atrium by inserting a pacing wire into the appropriate negative port while pressing the corresponding side button. Release the button to secure the lead. Next, insert the second atrial epicardial wire, or the skin lead, into the positive port on the atrium through the same method on the positive side. Slide apart the gray and blue portions of the atrium until the device clicks. Do not slide apart the pacing lead covers when using pacing wire leads that have wide plastic bases as this could eject the pacing wires from the device. Secure the atrium to the patient's gown or bed linen using the clip attachment. The atrium can be safely connected to a Type CF defibrillation proof monitor. Configure the monitor to display a limb lead and the V lead concurrently. This will allow for timing and interval comparison to be performed between the two leads. Confirm the automated monitoring and alarms are detected from the limb lead electrogram. If the V-lead signal does not adequately fit the available display area, increase or decrease the V-lead monitor scaling as necessary. Note, the atrial signal may not be visible during pacing due to the large relative size of the pacing signal. Remove the stud cap and connect the V-lead wire from a Type CF defibrillation proof monitor to the atrium V connection. Due to epicardial wire placement variability, switching epicardial wire polarity from within the atrium connectors may result in a more distinct atrioelectrogram. When pacing functionality is needed, remove the pacemaker connector plug covering the atrium temporary pacemaker port. Connect the temporary pacing cable to the temporary pacemaker. Atrility provides two different types of pacing cables, one that can be used with Medtronic external pacemakers and one that can be used with external pacemakers that use a 2mm shrouded connector, such as those provided by Oscor and Cardiotronic. See the instructions for use for further detail regarding pacemaker compatibility. Risk of electrical hazard to the patient is increased if the pacing cable is connected to the atrium before it is connected to the pacemaker. Connect the free end of the temporary pacing cable to the atrium. Confirm that the pacemaker has an effective pacing connection to the patient. Before disconnecting the pacing cable from the pacemaker, disconnect the pacing cable from the atrium. Replace the protective connector plug in the atrium pacemaker connector. Disconnect the ECG V-lead connector and replace the V-stud protective cap. If patient requires additional monitoring, reconnect the V-lead to a surface V-positioned electrode. Epicardial wires can be released from the atrium by pressing the button from the corresponding side. The buttons can be pressed while the atrium is in either of the pacing lead cover positions. Dispose of the atrium. The atrium was designed as a single-use device and was not cleared by the FDA for use on multiple patients. The atrium and each accessory cable is provided in a double sterile pouch for aseptic presentation in the surgical suite. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please contact us if you have any further questions. We look forward to working with you in our effort to improve arrhythmia management for cardiac patients.